people think living in the city means foraging is out of the question. But if you know the right places to look, the world is your oyster. Urban forager Diego Benetto knows how to find free ingredients all over town and runs foraging workshops across Sydney and New South Wales. Diego, what exactly is foraging? Picking things from the wild with the knowledge to understand what you're looking at and harvesting fruit and greens. Why did you decide to start these foraging workshops? I grew up with this knowledge as a young kid growing up in the farm. And then when I moved to Australia, I did just that. Went around, picked, harvest the wild foods. And people wanted to know what was I doing. So I started to teach people. The people bring their family. The family bring their friends. Next thing you know, I run workshop. Along the way, you learn about the caretaking, where and how to forage and how to cook the plants and even use them for craft. This is farmer's friend. I know this one. Ah, oh, you would, <laughs> you would. This is a classic. We all know it because it comes with the little prickly seeds and this makes fantastic salsa verde. It's a bit like oregano and sage. Well, who yeah. knew? I would have just chopped this down and into the compost. That's all right. This used to you chopping it down <laughs> and here it is, back again. Diego, I sense I could be wrong here, but this looks like bamboo. It does, doesn't it? It's yeah. quite similar in look, but this is wild fennel. Yeah, it's very similar, but different. You will recognise it once you pick up from here. Ah. You will see the resemblance. It's almost like dill, actually. Yeah, yeah. And it smells, smells like fennel. It does, ah, doesn't it? Wow, it's got that aniseed smell. That's it, that's wow. it. Sweet and aniseed. Yes. Excellent in soups, excellent in pies. Yes. This workshop really gives everyone the chance to reconnect with nature and with the food they're eating. Let's eat. I like that. Diego has passed on his knowledge to many local chefs and bartenders. So we are heading to local gin distillery, Archie Rose, to taste how our forage goods can be put into action. Dave Withers is the lead distiller behind Archie Rose, Australia's most highly awarded distillery producing gin, vodka, whiskey and rum. Pull up a stool and sample the spirits they craft on site or enjoy craft beer, biodynamic wine and food by local producers. Dave, you've recently worked with Diego on some amazing gins. What have you come up with? We really enjoyed working with him and he had some amazing quality ingredients from the local Sydney area. And we came up with three gins, two of which are almost sold out, and one of them is this fantastic one, which is the Opera House Outside Gin. And what produce does Diego bring for you? Uh, he brings some amazing stuff from, from parklands. We've worked with pink mm. peppercorn, even some weeds, which mm. you wouldn't think were tasty, but were actually amazingly tasty, yeah, like Farmer's Friends. Just learned that today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Now, gin is from juniper berries, is that right? Yeah, so gin has to have the prominent flavour of juniper. The juniper we use is foraged in Macedonia. Um, oh, wow. And we bring it in specifically for us, yep. yeah. Fantastic. Dave, what delightful concoctions have you whipped up here? Yeah, so our expert bartenders have been hard at work. That's the Joan Collins, which is a take on the classic Tom Collins. This one has a eucalyptus and lemon myrtle syrup with soda and our Opera oh, House outside gin. That's delicious. So refreshing. Wow. We also have the gin and tonic. This kind of shows that really lovely salty sweetness kind of tension that I keep talking about. Are um, you sure this isn't just water? <laughs> have it a sip and try. OK, let's see. Definitely not water. <laughs> Actually, that is a perfect gin and tonic. Both mine, by the way. <laughs> if you want to pick like a pro, join a workshop. Head to sydneyweekender.com.au for all the info.